G'day and welcome to episode 29 of Trent 365. Today is Friday the 29th of December. What can spas learn from jazz bars? I received a comment here on LinkedIn from Anka recently. Thanks, Anka. The interesting part to me is that when she asked people about where they go to spa and they, they say they go to see this person or their friend told them that person was the best person to see. So it wasn't about a physical space or even the name of a spa. It was a particular therapist or technician. Which of course makes sense because spas are about the people and about the therapist as opposed to the physical location. The challenge of course is that if the therapist leaves that location then the clients or the guests that go with that particular therapist go with them or they don't stay around at that spa at least. So the key for any good spa is to make sure they create an environment where the good therapist want to be. And of course the good customers or clients want to be as well. And then I realised this is not dissimilar to what jazz bars do when they have their jam sessions. Musicians will just sort of cruise in for the night, play a couple of sets and then move on. So the great musicians come in and hang out, the great guests and clients and customers come in and hang out and everybody wins because they create an environment where the, the talent or the skill and the people wanting to receive that skill are in the same place. So why couldn't we create a spa which had a similar concept? Basically, you know, freelance therapists, for want of a better word, who would come and go and great guests would come in or great customers would come in because they know that only the best therapists are performing treatments here. Does that even make sense? It made sense in my head when I, when I thought it. I'm not sure anymore. I think it could work. What do you think? Let me know. Thanks again for tuning in. Really appreciate your time. You can subscribe over on iTunes or follow along in the social streams. And I'll be back again tomorrow. See ya.